I'll bundle up here because it's kind of cool, but uh, this story has not, nothing to do with this. I just happened to be thinking about this, and I thought, oh, it would, it would make kind of a, I don't know, cool, but interesting. Uh, or probably not interesting, but it's just a stupid story. But uh, a number of years ago, I was going down the, I was going down the road. This is a four-lane, uh, uh, or four-lane highway. That's related to it, kind of. But uh, I had a, in my, I, I don't, I don't know how auto savvy, savvy most of people watching this are, but uh, there's a. You know, automatic transmission vehicle. It's a pick. It's a half-time pickup I had. But uh, oil cooler lines, the the factories are steel, but you know, usually they get cut up. So a guy will take and uh, splice in pe section of it in rubber hoses. That's what I had done. This pickup, that piece of rubber hose, and this stupid rubber hose. I always add a little bit extra in case I got to cut it and redo it later. But it had an extra, and for some reason it dropped down on the exhaust on the on the exhaust uh, tailpipe, and uh, well the I was going down the road, and you know, it, it burned through, and it started leaking, it started leaking oil, and it was, you know, it was making a big old cloud of you know burnt transmission oil behind me. There's some stupid moron was uh, tailgating me. Now I got no love for I got no love for tailgaters, but uh, you know, it's a four lane road. This guy could have easily gone around me. Why well, this guy was so stupid to sit there, getting you know, getting his car covered in uh, you know transmission oil and uh, inhaling uh, burnt transmission fluids beyond me, but. Uh, Cause he could easily easy go around me, but uh, this guy, some type of moron to just to just t tailgate me. He could have either gone around me or, you know, you know, put a few hundred feet between me and him so he wasn't in the hell and burned transmission oil. Bye-bye.